Hello everybody, it is Mining Creeper 2 here, here for the new episode of Mining Creeper 2 Tutorials. Today, we're going to be making a cardboard Earl Schmurl puppet. If you don't know who Earl Schmurl is, he's Raw the Wolf's hand puppet. In the Rock of Fire Explosion. If you don't know what the Rock of Fire Explosion is, then uh, search it up on the web. Sorry, I have no time to explain. Let's get started. The materials you need will be cardboard, duct tape, scissors, a ruler, and a sharpie. Hold up. That's not a sharpie. Okay, now we're gonna get started. First thing we're gonna work on is the head. So the first thing you need to do to make the head is make a 5 inch by 5 inch square box. Draw that box on a piece of cardboard. Make sure you have a lot of space, a lot of cardboard. So you can make a bunch of other boxes so then you could cut out the box and turn it into a 3D box. If that makes sense. I'll show it to you anyway. Okay, here we go. We have the six boxes here. I'm gonna cut it out and show you how to make it into a 3D box. So you can take the time to pause this and draw this on cardboard if you're following this tutorial. But wait, I almost forgot though. We gotta draw a line that later we have to cut so we can make the mouth. You'll see how. Okay, so now to mark where the line's gonna be, I taped the ruler to the cardboard so I could have it there staying still so I could draw the line. By the way, sometimes duct tape will help um, keep your ruler in place if you're trying to measure something. We need to draw a line in the correct spot. So we're going to take a sharpie here. So we're going to draw a line there at around two, two inches and a half. Half right there. That's where the middle is, I think. There, okay, so I marked it. Now we gotta make a line all the way across to the other side. Once you finish drawing that line, don't cut yet until you've made the whole full 3D box. Okay, I drew the line, and as you can see, not everything, uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. I made a mistake though. Mistakes happen. It's alright. It won't matter, because later you will have the decision to um, put color on it with construction paper. I'll, show, I'll tell you what those colors are when, at, towards the end of the video. Now we're going to cut it out and make a 3D box. Remember that cutting doesn't have to be perfect either. Don't rush in your cutting, or the cutout will come out a little bit sloppy, so take your time and be patient. Okay, now we have the cutout cut out. Now let's make the 3D box. If, if, on the, if, if on the other side, there's like tape here, here, there, wherever else, carefully take that off. Because that's probably going to be a little bit annoying. If there is some stubborn tape, then you could just leave it. Unless if it kind of annoys you or bothers you, I guess you could try and take it off carefully. I, I don't know, but I don't... Well, any stubborn tape 
I don't think should be a problem. Actually, I don't think any tape should be a problem, but it would be nice to take it all off, so it's just not there. Okay, so here we have the lines here folded, except this middle one. You do not want to fold that. You're going to want to cut that later. And we have other things folded. And now it's time to tape it up to make it into a cube. Oh, just, just one thing though. Do not tape over this line. Because you're going to be cutting along that line soon. So, just don't cut that, don't, just don't tape over that line or cut it yet. Sometimes it helps to put tape on the inside too if you want to keep the box together. So, put some tape there and on the outside. And put some tape on the outside. And you'd put tape here and then you close this off there like that and tape it. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to show some progress here. As you can see, I tape on the outside. I avoid the line as much as possible. So then we can cut the li line with no problem. And cut it on the... Uh, put some tape on the inside, too. So n now this... You then put up the top. Put some tape there. Put some tape around there. And tape there. Still avoiding the line. There we go. Taped up the box. Um, it depends on the duct tape. The box still might be a little unstable, and the duct tape might come off easily. So, um, if that happens, you could tape over the tape, still avoiding the line, or you could just try and be careful. So now we're gonna cut on the line and cut the line except for this part back here the here there's actually going to be a fold so we'll see in a minute i'm going to cut it up and show you oh so like you might want to make a little space here so you can put the scissors down there and cut down that, that way here i made the, made the mistake here so, if you made a mistake, try to remember, you know what, try and go the right way, you know, try to follow the right line. For example, here, alright, so here we have this line, and it connects up to this line. So, I'm going to have to follow the bottom line and, oh crud. Okay, so I just cut the line and, uh, oh, the box is a mess. So, like I said earlier, it depends on the duct tape you have. If the duct tape's not very strong, then uh, you can try and find another duct tape, or just put duct tape over the duct tape, and just, um, I guess, go with it, or, you know, see how, what, if, if you have any problems, you know, you could, you could try and find your own solution, or, if I have a problem here and I find a solution, I'll let you know in the video. Okay, yeah, every piece of duct tape in this house sucks, but here we go. Got the puppet. We just need to cut a little bit off the bottom. And I'll show you how to do that and uh, make it so it's not like this. So it doesn't look like Earl is going to have two whole heads, or a whole, a head and a very, very big chin. So I'll show you how to fix that. Okay, so I took all the duct tape off the bottom. Because here's how we're going to shorten the chin. Okay, so we know that this box right here is 5 inches by 5 inches. And we just want to make it a little bit shorter. So here, we're going to take the ruler, measure down to, let's see, one inch and a half, and mark it there, and then make a line. There we go, I made the mark. Now we have got to draw a line across to the other side of the box. There we go, just like that, we got a line. doesn't have to be perfect, so if it's slightly 
slanted, it doesn't really matter that much. So now we're going to do the walls. We're going to cut them. So do the same. Put the ruler up to here. Go one inch and a half down. Make a line. And then I'll show you what to do after that. Okay, so on the walls, we have, um, well, so you gotta make the line closer to the middle, not closer to the thing there, like I did there on accident. Uh, there, so then, uh, you don't tape it to the box yet, because then you gotta cut it along there. Okay, there we go. So I got it there, cut, now we gotta do the wall. So apparently these lines aren't right, so we gotta line it up, you gotta, uh, turn it around like that, and you gotta line it up, put some tape there, okay, next up is cutting the sides, so, got the sides there, so now you gotta Take your scissors and just cut it at the right. You could tape the mouth closed if it will help too. Let me let me do that. That might be a help to me. Okay, so the mouth thing didn't really work. So there you go. There's our Earl. Earl? Is this Earl? I don't know. Uh, well, there's a lot of tape on it. Well, that's the only way to get it in one piece. I might have to go out and buy stronger duct tape. So, I don't know. I might just stop the video here and continue the thing in the second part. Maybe in the next video I'll have stronger duct tape. Alright, I'll just see how, how much more I can do. I have a whole paper full of blueprints over there. Uh, somehow I was able to memorize the blueprints. I didn't even have to draw them down at all. Um, so it is a little bit, I guess, too much tape. So, I, alright, let's move on. It, it looks so easy on the blueprints. Kinda. Okay, guys. I've made a final decision. We're not gonna move on in this video. I'm gonna make a second part and show you how to make Earl's hat. A working eyebrow mech that you can move with your finger. And I'll show you how to put on properly put on uh, construction paper to color it. I think I don't know. I'll have to wait till the second video might come out tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. I don't know. So we'll see. But. I'm uh, kind of writing, running out of time, so I'll, I'll stop the video here. Hope you enjoyed part one of how to make an Earl puppet. It was kind of messy, I guess. I this is my second time doing a tutorial, so it was actually the first try. You, and I made these blueprints. So I don't know. I guess, guys, I'll see you in. The second video, part two on how to make Earl Schmarl from the Rock of Fire Explosion. And yeah, maybe later on, when I finish Earl, I'll show you how to make other props. So if, if you want to cosplay as the Rock of Fire Explosion or something, I'll show you how to make easy, easy cardboard Duke's drumsticks. Maybe I'll work... I'll tutorial really big project, that's his keyboard, not like the whole thing, 
something you could place on your lap or something. I don't know. But, uh, we'll see. In the meantime, I'm just doing Earl. So I'll see you in part two.